G'day guys, today we're here to talk about Olympus binoculars. Olympus are in an enviable, enviable position, this month they are celebrating 100 years. Um, to celebrate that we've got 15% off all of our Olympus binoculars and I thought I'd just give you a little rundown on what all the numbers mean because it's probably one of the big things of mass confusion whenever we're talking to customers about binoculars. So size is important to everybody, uh, whether you're traveling and you want something ultra small and compact you can just fold them up and put them in your pocket. Really great for travel or just keeping in the car for when you wish to go out and um, look at whatever the scenery has to offer. Through to the larger binoculars, obviously they don't fit in your pocket, um, but give you a very pleasurable viewing experience. So the numbers, running through the binoculars here, 10 by 50, 8 by 40, 10 by 25, 8 by 21. What do these numbers mean? So the first number in the binocular name, 10 by 50 in this, it's a 10 times magnification power. And then the 50 mil is the diameter of our front lens element. So 10 times power, 50 mil front element. 8 times power, 40 mil front element. 10 by 25, so 10 times power, 25 mil front lens element. And our little baby's here at 8 by 21. Um, the smaller the binoculars go, I tend to find, this is a personal experience, the narrower the field of view gets to be. So they're a little less comfortable to look through. The binoculars, um, these have long eye relief on the miniatures, so they control the distance of the binocular eyepiece to your eyes. So for those um, of us cursed, like myself with glasses, I'd leave these long eye relief eyepieces in and I can put the binocular straight to my glasses. If I take my glasses off and I want to use the binoculars, well then I would pull these eyepieces out and now I can look through them um, straight down the camera, smile and I can see what's going on and I get a nice round image. When you're setting your binoculars up, everybody's a little bit different. Um, the first thing is obviously setting the width of the eyepieces. If we start getting a beautiful clean round view within the binocular it means that the the distance that the binoculars are to your eyes is correct so once we've set that for our for our width that's to suit us obviously different people different uh, widths then what we do is we have two focusing adjustments we've got the the bridge focus over the top and this moves both eyepieces in unison. So if we focus on most binoculars, but all Olympuses, focus our left eye using this bridge focus. That, once we have that one eye in focus, and I often will say to people, the best way to do that is just hold something over the right eyepiece, or the right um, front element, set your binocular up to your left eye, and then swap your piece of paper, um, and then we rotate the right eyepiece to bring that eye into focus. Once you've done that, the separation of your two eyes, because we might have astigmatism where our left and right eyes are slightly different, then they're set. So those two are now set to you personally, and they move in unison with the central focus. So now you can view something up nice and close or at a long distance. How far can we see? As far as we can see with our natural eyes. Binoculars, a great gift for, for many people, really lovely to have um, and not overly expensive. So looking at the range we've got here, um, this is I'd consider a, a mainstream range of binoculars. We obviously have far more expensive but we're looking at $169 on special for the 1025s, $149 for the 8x40s, 195 for the 1025s and 119 for the little 8 by 21s um, for the fashion conscious of us out there the little 8 by 21s they're also available in magenta green and blue um, this is the blue so it's quite a subtle color but it's just a nice little uh, difference from all the blacks that we have and that's binoculars